Well, once again, it's closing time here at John Kay's Bookshop, and I want to start this evening's video with a quick PSA aimed at our lovely customers here at John Kay's. Uh, no, I don't look like Harry Potter. I know I've cut my hair, and I know we're in the middle of Harry Potter land, but that does not mean you will see him round every corner. Uh, I'm British, I have shit eyes, uh, and there the resemblance is end. Okay, so I'm glad we can just clear that up, first of all. I'm sure that's the last I'll be hearing of that. Um, but today I want to talk about Shakespeare once again. Um, two exciting developments in Shakespeare research, which I wanted to share with you. Um, the first comes courtesy of Professor Matthew Stegel. Uh, his research involves the so-called Spiritual Testament, a, a controversial document in Shakespeare studies, uh, ostensibly the work of John Shakespeare, William Shakespeare's father, uh, a document in which he declares his uh, Catholic faith. This document has long been considered a jewel in the crown, as Professor Stegall says, for those who favour a, a Shakespeare who was raised Catholic, which of course has massive implications across his works. Uh, now, the document isn't just controversial uh, in regard to its religious content, but also its provenance. Even in the uh, 18th century, Shakespeare's great editor, Malone, um, felt that the handwriting was a little bit too modern to match up with John Shakespeare's dates, but wasn't quite sure what to make of it. And the extremely exciting explanation that uh, Professor Stegall presents is that the document was actually written by Joan Shakespeare. Joan Hart, her married name, Shakespeare being her maiden name. We know very little about Joan, despite the fact that uh, she lived for another 30 years after her, her younger brother William's death. So this really is quite a coup. And if you want to read more about uh, Professor Stegall's discovery, I'll link his Twitter page in the video uh, description box below and uh, you'll be able to access the article through there. Uh, the second one involves a, a friend of the podcast, Darren Freebury jones who is a, a guest on two of my podcasts, one on the Spanish tragedy by Thomas Kidd, and one on the birth of Merlin. Now, it's long been known that Shakespeare uh, acted in plays as well as wrote them. Since the first folio, it's been known that he, he appeared in his own plays, he appeared in plays by Ben Jonson. But despite lots of rumour and legend, it's never been certain what roles he took. There are plenty of popular traditions, like um, the idea of him playing Hamlet, the ghost of Hamlet's father in Hamlet. But for the first time, Darren might have actually identified a role that Shakespeare took, namely Thorello in Ben Jonson's play, Every Man in His Humour. By comparing common phrases uh, of Thorello's in Ben Jonson's play and phrases that appear in Shakespeare plays like Othello, Twelfth Night and Hamlet, Darren has suggested that Shakespeare was recalling lines that he had learned as an actor, pinching them wholesale in some cases or just borrowing the, the structure of them in others. Uh, this made the news the other week. It, uh, it was reported in The Guardian. I'll link that below as well. And also Darren's Twitter page. so You can uh, keep up to date with any future discoveries. Darren is also working on a new book called Shakespeare's Borrowed Feathers. And I'm happy to say that he's going to be coming back on the podcast soon to talk about it. So look out for that. So there you are, two little uh, Shakespeare updates from me, not Harry Potter, uh, here at John Kay's Bookshop. Have a good weekend and happy reading.